here with Sarah Nolan, and she's the ex-manager of this beautiful club, and she's still involved with the club, and she has been for years and years, and she's very kindly come in today to us to give us the history, I suppose, from the beginning, Sarah. And I don't know what year to start with you, because we know the club opened in 1976, so we know it's closed, unfortunately, in June this year, 2019. And you must have a, a battle full of memories in there from everything. Oh, I do, so indeed. If you can kind of run us in from the start, maybe we've had a club start, because your dad was involved with the football. Yes, daddy. Yeah. He's a football uh, family, and you know, yeah. lots of stuff. Yeah. So, yeah. Right, well, um, I hope my memory is correct at this, but um, in... Probably in 1960, it was started to be discussed. There used to be um, a football league called the Rhodes League, and members of different uh, football teams. Daddy's team was Love You Rangers, and Joe Kelly's was Rossmore. No, I don't know the Rangers or the United, and I might have these mixed up, but there was um, Rossmore, Kylemore. All of these groups got together and all like-minded men, and they were all just normal working men that wanted to keep the kids off the road. That basically was their aim, because there was very little in Ballyfermis at that stage. And I know they started to talk, but in 1962, a football club was um, started, and they went out and they won, I know it was the under 13s, because my brother played for them, and his photographs at home, and they won practically everything that was to be won that year in their different sections. And as the years went by and um, people travelled more, uh, people saw these marvellous social clubs in England, and there, there wasn't really many uh, in Ireland, and they had this passion, I would say, because that's the only way I can, the best word I can use to describe it, the fact that there was two tailors, there was a plumber, there was um, all different walks of life, and they got together, and I, I'd say from 1973 or so, 1974, they really got down to the nitty-gritty of forming the social club. And when the Elephant supermarket closed and went on the market, they got, I don't, don't know figures, I can't give you them, they, they purchased it. They I mean, purchased it yeah. anyway for whatever it was. And we opened on the fourth of Friday the fourth of June in nineteen seventy six. Wow. That's forty three years ago, Sarah. Just forty three years, oh yeah. God, that's amazing. Real family place, Sarah. It's a place where you can come to and feel comfort and everyone knows each other and we're all protected. It's a it's just a magic place. Some of us say that a lot of love stories began in the club. Oh, there was. There was fair few, yeah. yes, yeah. So you have lots of memories I, of that. Well, I'm not going to tell the names because okay. they might be embarrassed by it. But <laughs> yeah. yeah, there was quite a few couples. We're just jumping forward now. We're into 2008, and I know you have lots of memories, and you can tell us stories all day long. And yeah, Dad was a great. Uh, he was one of the main men for starting this club as well with the football, wasn't he? In the area? He was, was, yeah, with Arthur Roach with Arthur, and Joe yeah. Kelly. Um, Arthur, Arthur was the, the secretary of the club, um, and there was actually, the meetings used to be in his shed on Kymore uh, Avenue, and there was actually a ladies' dart team that played from there, which was, you can just imagine now. Is that where it started? That's where it started, yeah. And that was one of the, the, the recognised sections of the, the original, yeah. Of course, we all know that the ladies' team, and Lily Jackson was Oh, Lily so, Jackson yeah. was a scream. Was a, yeah, oh, yeah. Was a Gresha O'Connor, um, yeah. Annie Craig, no, Annie yeah. Craig is still with us. Uh, well, Farty, she's in hospital at the moment, yeah. but she comes here every Friday morning, every Monday night. Right. So, as we're going through it, I know we had loads of, you've had loads of, you've had loads, loads of um, guest artists here over the year, people that would be very famous, like Finbar Fury, and you have oh, Joe yeah. Dolan. Tell yeah. me about Joe Dolan tonight, you can. Oh, Joe Dolan, oh my God, they yeah. were queued outside, and the place was packed. That was a brilliant night. Dickie Rock was here. Um, Tony Christie. Was was it? Tony Christie, yeah. Show me the way to Amarillo. Yeah, he was here. Uh, oh, through the years, like, you know, between... It's like George Best as well, believe George Best and Dennis Law was here during the question and answer. Niall Quinn, Paul McGrath. We had 
you know, I, I can't remember them all just off. We did, yeah. The, 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 um, the, the opening of the club in 76 was done by uh, the Taoiseach then, Liam Cosgrave. And the new section was opened in 1987 by President Hillary. Yeah. Yeah, and he was lovely. I and mean, we had many other people, um, like uh, Jim Mitchell and Gay Mitchell were here regularly. Um, I remember we had Brian Lennon in here. We, I think he might have been the Minister for Sport at the time. Yeah. Um, yeah. We were looking for a few bob for the pitch. <laughs> on Friday that? morning, we were at Friday Club. Right, the Senior Citizens Committee uh, have always looked after. And from day one, there was a Senior Citizens section. And um, we just have a game of bingo and a cup of tea and a sandwich. And, try to get talking yeah. to uh, as many um, people and to sit if you could help them with farms and yeah, things like that. The last waltz will be done in oh, the Valley Firm United dance floor. Oh my God, that, that, that'd be... I'll do a few tears yet, yeah, definitely. Yeah. But um, as I said, life goes on. We've, we'll have our last um, seniors party. We normally would do it in June and July and we have it in May. Exactly. So that we get it done. Yeah. Uh, that, that they won't be set with. That would be great. Thank you so much, sir. Um, we'll be meeting you again before you close, and we'll be filling the last night for you. Yeah, thanks very much for your time. Thank, Thank you. Thank you so much for allowing us to come to get so much information from you. And um, we'll see you soon. Thank Please, you, God. Sir. God Please God. Thank you.